how does the Holy Spirit influence your life? He reveals His will to us through God's Word, uh, through the influences of others who are, are walking in the Spirit, and through that inner direction, that inner voice that speaks to us. Now, we're getting into three categories of acts of the flesh. Oh, I forgot. There's another one. <laughs> Sins against society. Oh, well. <laughs> Four columns. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> teacher's error. The early church was not made up of people who lived perfect lives. Paul was addressing these issues, and they were they were going on then. We tend to think, oh, you know, we've just gotten so evil in the latter days. But they were apparently big issues then, and he recognizes this, and he reminds his readers that whatever kinds of sin they had favored, and think about that with us, whatever kinds of sin we had favored in our previous days before Christ, um, they should be decisively abandoned. That means we make a choice. We decide we are going to change. That's called what? What is it called when we come to Christ? Repentance. Repentance, yes. We need to decide to repent. And then we do that, of course, in concert with the Holy Spirit. But we have a choice to make. Are we going to repent or not? So we're going to start out with the sexual sins. And the first one was adultery. Mm -hmm. How many of you have that identified? Okay. Are we supposed to not? And then fornication. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uncleanness. You, that, does that mean you need to take a shower and get cleaned up, or what? Lewdness, and, or it's also called licentiousness. <laughs> does anyone's uh, Bible have a different word for that? Sensuality. Sensuality. Okay, what translation is that? Amp. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like the Amplified a lot. <clears throat> ASB says sensuality also. Okay. So the Holy Spirit never leads anyone into adultery, fornication, uncleanness, or lewdness, or sensuality. That if you are dealing with any of those, if I am dealing with any of those, that is not the Holy Spirit. And it's a good indication that I am not walking in the fruit of the Spirit. So we're going to talk about adultery. It's when two, one or both, are married to someone else. And they should confess and repent. There is forgiveness. You're not going to go to hell. We're not going to. I say you like, you know, I'm not capable myself. We uh, are not going to go to hell if we have committed adultery. But we repent of it and we do not live in that pattern of adultery. Um, and nowadays, what do we say? But we love each other. I know God wants us together. Remember what I said earlier? God doesn't contradict His Word. God told us we need to be together. No, that's, that's called adultery. Then, what is fornication? Same thing, but you're not married. Yeah. Okay. Just premarital so, sex. All right, premarital sex. Outside of marriage. Outside of marriage, yes. Fornication was apparently accepted as a normal part of life to the recipients of Paul's letter. It must have been something like is going on right now. It's just it's a given. Now it really wasn't. I don't know what happened or what changed, but I know when I grew up that was not it was only only the bad girls did that. You know, that's what that's what we were told. You know, you you're loose. You you know, and then the guys would talk about it, and uh, everybody would whisper, and you know, and then you'd get a reputation, and um, it just was not done. I remember one for sure that got pregnant without being married, and it was just a shameful thing. And nowadays, it's just kind of expected and. Yeah. What's that? There's two in middle school this year. Two oh in gosh. middle school. It's getting younger and younger. They're getting desensitized. Yes. It's becoming a glorified thing now where it people really congratulate is. each other instead of 
and realizing the importance. It's so sad. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. In fact, it's a shameful thing in, in a lot of arenas to be a, a virgin. Mm -hmm. Right. They would go off. They, abortion wasn't legal. And so they would go away, go visit Aunt Jane for a while and mm -hmm. come back, you know, nine months later or seven months later. And yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of shame, and I think we could use a little more shame yeah. right now. I don't think that was such a bad thing. I think our, cult <laughs> our culture, and especially media type things or whatever, television, desensitizes us. There was a young man that came here as a foreign exchange student from Hong Kong, and he was from the underground church. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he could not wait to get over here to this Christian country. Mm -hmm. Christian country. Yeah. This kid was on fire. He was amazing. It was just so, so thrilling for me to be in his presence because boy did he have the presence of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he said when he came over here, he was so disheartened and so upset. And he, what happened to that Christian nation? Mm -hmm. What is, what's this? Because I guess being with the underground church, he'd heard about America and how it's a Christian nation and all the freedoms we enjoy, and he just imagined a totally different picture than what yeah. he got. So, yeah, so uncleanness. I don't, it, it, we are an unclean culture, definitely. Many today excuse themselves and they say, well, you know, we did this and yeah, we did that, and, uh, but we didn't go all the way. So it's okay, right? No. Uncleanness. And if, if we are believers in Christ, we will not live in uncleanness. Now, lewdness, we kind of, I mean, we see that in the newspaper a lot. It's referred to as licentiousness, the idea, though, of ready to sin at any time. It's like a pervert. You are ready. You're looking for any opportunity. And you're just, you know, just disgusting. Someone who flaunts his or her immorality. Throwing off all restraint and like we talked, mm -hmm. shame, no shame, no sense of shame, no sense of embarrassment mm -hmm. for their behavior. And we live in an incredibly lewd culture. Yet, even though we live in this culture, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit has never led any of us into lewdness.